Hey guys, if you are not familiar with Sweet Baby Inc., you probably are not a real gamer. Sweet Baby Inc. is a team of 16 individuals, and how they operate is they threaten various companies that if they do not, uh, and again, if uh, they do not um, help or hire them, they will attack you claiming that you are sexist and racist and all of that stuff so obviously wizard of the coast uh they are into that type of stuff so they hired sweet baby ink and sweet baby ink is on a rampage uh, most of the time uh anything involved with sweet baby ink in terms of games has gone down to zero uh, that includes suicide squad this includes uh square enix i think square enix had to finally drop them this is a very interesting scenario that is playing itself out where when you hire a consultant you're hoping that you can sell more games but the companies that hire sweet baby inc sell far fewer games than normal so again something that is pretty atypical something that is you, you think about it and it's like why would any company hire this company to promote i mean it, it's so funny they actually have so th their social media sucks. Uh, let's not. There, there's more social media about people who dislike them, like on the uh, 100 to X scale, than um, before, right? I think it's uh, weird, right? It's really weird that you hire this company, you pay them a shit ton of money, and then the end result is you lose. No one buys your game. Now, what does this have to do with Magic the Gathering? Well, Wizard of the Coast is a official, a official sponsor of uh, or have paid Sweet Baby Inc. to do consultation. So this is a can Canadian company. You can see their impact in video games. You can see their impact in Magic the Gathering. It's pretty obvious uh, what they've been doing to the game. I don't need to spell this out to you. If you played Magic from the olden days like myself, you know that there's no real fantasy elements left. Uh, it is more grounded in reality, if you will. Uh, DEI. So what does DEI mean? DEI. So this is a company, uh, Diversity, Equality, and Inclusion. Okay, so that's what DEI means. So this is a company that sells DEI. And if you don't buy DEI from them... Um, you will be uh, attacked online for being a racist, sexist, whatever the DEI is about. And you see a lot of people, why DEI matters, the critical role of diversity, equality, answering the attack, why diversity, equality, and inclusion. And they all kind of um, have the same uh, statements about DEI, right? What might it mean when critics call someone a DEI hire? DEI hire is a disparaging term that refers to quotas or targets for hiring racial and ethical minorities, women and or people with disabilities for positions and authority. So again, this is the idea of uh, basically the core idea of business. Should you hire the most should you hire the most qualified individual for the job or should you hire an individual who may be less quali qualified? but they are DEI positive, right? So they might add some elements there, which says, you know, how do you quantify that? How do you value that? It's very, very difficult to do. So Magic the Gathering, uh, it's very DEI positive. You, you take a look at the rules committee, you take a look at all their management. Uh, there used to be this one really crazy picture of all the Wizard of the Coast employees, and it was like 98% white males. And then they had to immediately <laughs> take off the employee. That's why you never hear about no employees. DEI positive is the same thing. I, I'm, I'm trying to say that like once you become DEI positive, you, um, you, you are in this situation where you have to... Uh, how, how can I say this in, in, the, in a light way? Well, when, once you're DEI positive, you have to embrace certain positivity quotas that you otherwise would not have to embrace. And so certain rhetoric, certain words you have to use to make sure that everyone knows you're DEI positive. 
Um, I think at the very core element, this is a way for people to make money that otherwise would not make money. Um, and that's it. Right? Um, that is it, in my opinion. So DEI positive people are winning. They're getting paid. Everyone's getting paid. I, I don't like remember the Black Lives Matter. Uh, has anyone actually followed up on the charity and seen how they use the money? They use the money to buy a house, to hire their brother. Like it's it's kind of like weird, right? Like if you actually believed in this stuff um, and you donated to it, you should probably follow up on what actually happened. They're, they're still active right now. Um, so this one, AP News, which is, in my opinion, not biased. New Black Lives Matter tax documents show foundation is tightening its belt, has 30 million in assets. Uh, and this is written by a, uh, black male. So like this, you would think that he would be, you know, so they, um, that's significantly less than 79 million in revenue reported in a previous tax filing. Of the Black Lives Matter Global. So I, even like I think the idea is really great. But do people actually use the money in a way that would make sense, right? For moving the idea. Or did... Um, uh, so they raised $90 million. So what are they doing with $90 million? Only 33% of Black Lives Matter $90 million in donations help charitable... And the rest went into pockets, right? So anyway, uh, that that's what DEI means. It means that you have to be diversity, equality, inclusion. Uh, it's a word that they're using as a attack word. Um, Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation sues its former fiscal sponsor, Tides Foundation. Okay. Fake Black Lives Matter leader in prison for stealing George Floyd donations using funds to go shopping. Okay, that makes sense. Gotta go shopping. Black Lives Matter nonprofit says Tides Foundation mismanaged $33 million. Black Lives Matter sue progressives for fraud. Asked about its 244 million Black Lives Matter donation, Microsoft told its investors to pound sand. Black Lives Matter group declined to endorse Camilla Harris, questions nominating process. Okay, so they don't seem to be. Where did the Black Lives Matter millions go? Yeah, that's a good question. Where did it go? Like, no one cares? Okay. Anyway, so this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Magic 30th. Probably, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was their idea. It, it would seem something like the DEI would come up with.